So Rick, we have this uh, little quick fire round of questions that we like to throw to all of our guests. Sometimes, you know, the questions are tweaked a little bit depending on the guest's um, interest or area of expertise. So we have a few of those for you as well. So the first one, um, binoculars, eights or tens? Ten. Okay. Okay. Diego and I are both in the eight camp, I think. Why tens? Well, you know, I got into bird watching because my eyes weren't great, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I, need all the, I need all the help I could get. I mean, you know. <laughs> okay. So the next question, um, and you've sort of answered this in a previous one, but I'll, I'll tweak it a bit. So I, was gonna, I normally say favorite bird, but I might say favorite bird family. And I think I might know the answer, but I'll say it anyway. Favorite bird family? Mannequins. Yeah. I, I think yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't go anywhere else. Though it could be. I could. Maybe I just work to to answer that question appropriately. I'll just try to uh, change the science so that mannequins and katinkas are in the same family. How about that? You're, yeah, you you <laughs> like super family, super family. I'll just re yeah. I'll just reclassify them. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be the ultimate bird family, right? If we put mannequins and contingas together, that would be the champion of all champions. Absolutely. Actually, Chris, Absolutely, yeah. related, related to that question, and this is, you know, uh, another of this quick fire, Rick. Uh, if you're a researcher, what do you prefer? Exploded or cluster legs? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I like, I like the spatially dispersed legs. That's, what I, that's, 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 that's how I... Yeah, cotingas and stuff yes, like that. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, indeed. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, Next one, um, favorite all-time bird display? Um, you know, to me, the, uh, the golden-winged mannequin, just, you know, flying down to a log, jumping up, turning around midair, and landing back on the log, facing back in the direction that it's come in, you know, and seeing that for the first time uh, was one of the most moving experiences I've ever had. And... Yeah, and and it really it was a huge kind of discovery in my in my research career, and so that display has you know just unbelievable meaning to me. Well, speaking of of that, Rick, the next question I was going to ask is what what bird display do you most dream of seeing that you've never seen live? Absolutely, Argus pheasant. I I may not be happy if I if I if I don't see that display before I die, you know. But I got to work hard to do it, so I I better get started now. <laughs> and uh, one last one, um, favorite bird song. You know, I mean, this is a, this is uh, interesting because you know one thing that you know we didn't touch on is that I really have lost a lot of my hearing. I'm really quite I'm really quite hard of hearing, and. Uh, so that really took a hit on my birding, right? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I was originally very orally motivated and, 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 uh, and that drove a lot of my neotropical field work. But starting in my 20s and 30s, uh, I, I, I lost it. So I'm now kind of uh, ornithologically deaf, right? Which is really sad. One of the things that, that means that I actually have kind of, if you will, neurons in my brain prepared to identify bird songs that I cannot hear, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. uh, I no longer hear them. Uh, it's just not, you can't, there's no input, you know, you can't get that in anymore. Uh, so uh, actually, sometimes now, even in spring, uh, uh, I can help others identify bird songs that I can't hear. Because uh, they'll say this, but it's not quite right. I was like, "Well, have you thought? You know, <laughs> have you thought about Black Bernie? And it might be, it might be there." <laughs> so there's a whole lot of songs that I, that I miss, and 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 uh, and you know, so those are those are those are the ones that are that ha you know have special meaning, and because uh, uh, you know maybe I don't know if it's 90% of bird song I can no longer hear, and uh, it's a it's a real it's a real sadness. But you know. I think somehow professionally thinking about and talking about beauty as a focus, um, you know, you know, makes it so I haven't, I haven't left that behind, even though I, I personally can't experience it anymore. Mm -hmm.